so I recently purchased a blue edition of the Astro 50. Got it used off of eBay because they are so expensive. Uh, when I got it, it worked, but I noticed that the battery dies pretty quickly. I'm trying to get a replacement part, and actually you can find it on eBay for relatively cheap. Today, we're going to install the new battery. Some of the things you'll need is your existing A50 wireless headset, X-Acto knife or razor blade, some rubber cement, and here's the battery. It's a 603443 lithium ion battery, 3.7 volts, 950 milliamp year. Set of screwdrivers, I like these small ones, especially when we're working with delicate instruments. Electrical tape, solder, and a soldering iron. A wire cutter, wire stripper, and tweezers will be helpful too. All the guts that we're going to focus on are in the left earpiece, and that's the one with the microphone. So you start off by just taking this protective sponge off. And actually these are interchangeable. You can get custom ones, different colors, stuff like that. There's a set of four screws. Those need to come off next. One thing I want to note is that anytime you are reassembling with screws, especially if it's not going into metal, just make sure not to over tighten otherwise you will run the risk of stripping screws. So with the four screws off that exposes the more inner piece which has a couple more screws. We need to get this padding off. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a flathead mini screwdriver and work my way all around. It's, it's glued on this outer edge and we'll just work it up and try to keep it all in one piece. Keep working it around. And with it all off, that should expose two more screws that need to come out. Get those loose, you'll be able to expose the inner workings, but you want to be careful because there is a wire that connects to that speaker right there. So I'll just go yanking it off. Now the battery lies just behind this plastic shielding, but in order to gain access to that, there's a series of screws that will unlock the, the outer side. So when those four come off, there is one more center screw and that is what holds the microphone on. The best way to get access to that center screw is to remove the two screws holding the PCB board together. Just to free things up, I know everything is tight here, so I did remove this side PCB board. It's got one screw in it. That is where you plug in your mini USB and then the and then the 2.5 millimeter to get a little bit better access there's a tiny hole in there and within it is the screw and it's the most difficult one in the whole unit so make sure that you put pressure from the other side otherwise you will strip it and there is a wire that is connected right inside there too. Now we're going to keep everything in the right spot just loosely and flip it over after you've loosened that center screw. And that will expose the battery. So it is lightly glued in there. So the same thing as you did with that suction, use a, a tiny flathead and work your way around, being careful 
not to disturb these wires here because you're going to be needing those to put the new one in. With the wire cutters I'm going to cut it as close to the battery as I can to give us the most length to deal with. As a matter of ease I'm just going to pull all three of these wires through for easy stripping and then we'll find a place for them. With the wires stripped we'll just feed them back through that hole and reassemble on the other side. In the rare event that you get some strange colored wires one thing that you can do is test with a multimeter put it on DC 200 and you touch the red and the black you should get well, I get four volts here also if you touch the red to the red and the black probe to the yellow you should also get four volts so just make sure to check that I would say before you put it all back together with the wires pulled through what we're going to do is put a little glob of solder on each match up the colors red to red black to black in my case there is no yellow I got a white but I'll just connect the white to the yellow and we'll electrical tape everything up and then as with any project before you reassemble everything we're gonna test out the unit. I've got all the wires connected up and I got a good sign that I heard it power off but let's just see you know, I heard a little beeping as if there's some activity Let's just see if it charges up. Well, look at that. We got a light. Okay, so just make sure that you, when you test this, hold the power button so it blinks white then you hold the power button on the headset make sure that flashes white so that they try to connect with one another and then they should turn red okay and you can hear that it's coming out of my speakers but let's see if it comes out of the headset Oh yeah, and then uh, just touching the microphone I can see I'm getting a signal off of there. Excellent, so let's put it all back together. So individually, I like to use tweezers and just pull these wires back through the port toward the inner ear to give you space to set that battery. All right, pop in these screws on the top here. And then those two at the bottom, that'll lock the base of that other side of the earpiece in place. And then we'll work on the microphone. So when you're screwing down that center screw, most important thing to know is before you tighten it completely, you wanna have the microphone in the up position Otherwise, it will not screw in straight. You risk stripping the screw and you won't have the mobility that came with the product originally. In order to not interfere with the speaker, if you have extra wires, let's just tie them to the side so they're out of the way. And make sure they're not in the way of any of these screw down holes. Keep screwing them in. I believe the long ones go up top here. If you got any left. Yep, long one goes in there. The other three are shorties. And I want you to test, before we glue on this backing, I want you to test to make sure audio comes out okay so we didn't pinch any wires in the reassembly process. Okay, we're gonna brush 
just a slim coat of rubber cement along the edge so we can fit this pad back on. Okay, it's all on. Rub off any little balls of rubber that are still around. It should have a nice cozy fit there. Beautiful sounds. Okay, microphone. <laughs> and now you have even a bigger battery. Thank you for joining. Thank you for watching me. I'll see you again.